Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're making Instant Pot Chicken Alfredo Pasta. So my name is Kristen. And I'm Kendra. And a little bit about this dish. We love it because everything cooks in your Instant Pot. You're going to be cooking your chicken in here, your pasta, and everything just mixes together, makes it really easy, and the flavor is amazing. Nice, I'm, I love it. All right, <laughs> so before we get started on everything, um, we want to tell you a little bit about our shirts. I'm sure you've seen them, but this is our first <laughs> one of I'm the Seventh Sister shirt. Yes. So they make them, so we have some that are small, and then we also mm -hmm. have some that are bigger. bigger mm -hmm. So, And then mine, of course, is ceiling not venting because that's kind of my thing. Classic. So, classic. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to check out these shirts, you can find them down below in the description. Or there's a little bar that goes across that shows all the shirt options for you. Yes. So, Anyways, okay. <laughs> well, if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. All right, so to get started, you're going to push the saute button, and we're going to let that heat up to hot. Yes. Okay, so you'll just want to add about two tablespoons of olive oil to the bottom of your Instant Pot. Now, can I show you my trick? Yes. I like to pick it up and kind of just like mix Ooh, it, yeah, make good. sure it and covers. Full coverage. <laughs> exactly. No sticking, no Perfect. burning here today. No, not today. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna add, this is about three pounds of chicken. Now you can see that we've kind of cut it into strips. Um, just it will make it cook so much faster if it's cut smaller. Mm -hmm. And I like the I like the strips with Alfredo, I do. right? Mm -hmm. That's what you think of when you think of Alfredo. So. And I like doing it beforehand because then after it's like you're trying to shred hot chicken and it's like. Right. Once this is just cooked, it's just it's nice. It's just nice and easy. And done. Exactly. You can hear sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. So how long do you saute the chicken for? So you're gonna do like three minutes okay. on each side. Okay. I'm trying to spread them out <laughs> as best I can. You're doing great. Thanks, thanks. Almost done here. Here we go. Oop. Last, oop, last two. There we go. Okay, so we'll give them just a second, let them sit there, okay. and then we'll just flip them over in about two to three minutes. So then just to season them up a little, we're just gonna do a little salt and pepper, just for taste, no direct measurement. Nah. And you know us, we usually just yeah. kinda eyeball things. We just swing it. That's how it works here. <laughs> okay, they've been browned on both sides for about three minutes. We're just gonna kinda stir them, stir them up a little bit. There we go, okay. Now we're gonna cook the pasta. So yes. let's add some of our stuff here. Okay. So we're gonna add one teaspoon of minced garlic. Nice. Okay, then we'll add one teaspoon of parsley into this. Nice, mix that around. Now I'm gonna hurry and turn off the saute button okay. if that's okay. Cancel. <laughs> oh, it smells good just it with the garlic smell in really there. Good. Mm. Okay, then Let's add our pasta on top okay. and then we'll add on the broth. So we're gonna add just like one pound of the pasta. Yeah. And then the secret of the pasta is we're just going to make sure that all the pasta is covered with liquid. So yes. right now, this is four cups of chicken broth that we're gonna put in here. Looks mm -hmm. like we just need to add, yeah, you wanna yeah. measure that a little bit. We might need to add just a little bit more just we. When your pasta is not touching the liquid, it's going to get hard and crispy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't want that. We want we, we want, want soft pasta. No. Our pasta. Okay, how's that looking? Can Good. we pat the rest yeah. down? Perfect. I think we're ready now. Okay. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. You're going to put on your lid now. If you have a little knob, make sure that it's turned to ceiling, not, not venting. venting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This one doesn't have a knob, so it automatically just sets onto ceiling. So you're good. So you're gonna push the pressure cook button or the manual button. And then we're gonna go down to four minutes because our chicken's pretty much cooked. We just gotta cook the noodles and we're ready to go. So once it's set, you can go ahead and walk away. All right, so once the timer is all done, you can go ahead and either turn your little knob to venting or with this Instant Pot, all you have to do is press the button now. So ready, here we go. <laughs> Okay, once the pressure is out, you can go ahead and safely take off the lid. Mm, smells good. It does smell good. So we're gonna mix it around. It looks like there's like a little bit excess water, yeah. but 
not too much. I feel like we're okay to just leave it as it is. Yeah. So, okay. Now okay. we're gonna add the good stuff. We're gonna make the sauce. Yes, to this we're going to add cream cheese. And it's okay if it's still a little cold because it will all melt together with the hot pasta and the chicken. Right, so we'll and so that's like, that's in. the eight ounce block yes. of cream cheese. Okay, while you're gonna do that, I'm gonna okay. put in like a fourth cup of Parmesan. Mm. Nice. Do I mix it around and you put in the sure. next? Awesome. And then this is just one cup of mozzarella. Nice. I love all this cheese. I, know. I mean, Alfredo, I guess it does all cheese. <laughs> all good stuff. Now, if you want it to cook a little bit faster, you can push the saute button yes. and we'll heat things up a little bit more. Okay, this will take just a few minutes to melt all yes. our cheeses and cream cheese and everything. So you just keep at it, keep yeah. at it. So while we're waiting for it to, you know, melt, melt thicken up all a little together. bit, to help thicken it up, we're gonna take two tablespoons of water and then just one tablespoon, it's a half, we need two of them. So one tablespoon of cornstarch and we're just going to mix it up a little bit and then put it in there with, while it's on saute to hopefully, yes. it, will, it will thicken it right up yeah. for us. Because we don't want liquidy no. chicken alfredo. No. We want thick, creamy chicken alfredo. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just gonna stir this for a little bit until it's nice and thick. Okay, so everything is stirred together. It's creamy, it's thickening up. So I'm just we'll gonna, just yeah, turn this off. Turn, turn off our saute off. off. There we go. And then we're just gonna serve this up. Mm. And we like to serve this with just a little bit of basil on top. It just adds a really nice, fresh flavor to it all. You could also put a little bit more Parmesan on top yes. too. That's mm. one of my favorites. Never opposed to more cheese. <laughs> Never opposed to that. Especially with dealing with Alfredo. <laughs> yeah. And there it is, your finished product. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Now, if you want more simple and easy Instant Pot recipes, you can find more just right over there. And if you want to grab one of our t-shirts, again, down below in the description. You're the seventh sister. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.